A few months ago, around April 2014, I had a very bad flu, which even got worse after a week since I got it with increasing, excruciating headaches 24 hours a day. Respiratory complications making it hard to breathe. <clears throat> and no signs getting better, on the contrary. Then I took some of these tiny little homeopathic pills, including the 1918 uh, Spanish influenza in it, which left at least 50 million people dead worldwide and maybe twice as much. And an hour later, all indications, all symptoms, the excruciating headaches and the entire flu were gone. Wow! I couldn't believe it that a tiny little pill could do that. Well, the virus itself is quite small too, killing 10 times as many people as those big World War I cannons could do, killing 9 million combatants, just as the information of the 1918 Spanish influenza inside that tiny little pill ordered my body's defensive mechanism or immunity system to kill the virus in one hour's time. So when the New World Order comes round with another 1918 influenza or similar Georgia Guidestones attack, I will have the right medication ready to save my ass and that of my loved ones. I don't know if I can get more of them, but if you want to be ready for them too, I'll see what I can do for you. Just contact me on my email inside my channel here because Google plus YouTube won't let me do any more private mails nor comments. The pills also contain the minuscule amount thus the intel of the Asian influenza of 1957, the A and B virus of 1954, of course the 1918 influenza which got 500 million people sick worldwide killing between 50 and 100 million though apparently the vaccinations did the actual, actual killing job. The Hong Kong flu of 1968, the Hong Kong virus B5-72, the English virus A42-72 and the poor Chalmers virus A1-73. I was only able to get hold of this very rare and potent medicine because my wife is a naturopath doctor with her own cabinet and all. Thus, through her line of work and mere chance got acquainted with the only specialized private lab producing this, which is having loads of problems and lawsuits trying to forbid them so, as the mainstream pharmacies want to keep us dependent and paying, right? Or maybe only Octagon of the Alps having the antidote when the Georgia Guidestones pandemic strikes. Good luck to y'all.